Sagittarius, this is all about you. Sagittarius, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome, guys, and thank you so much. I hope you had a beautiful and happy holiday season, and I hope your new year is a bright and amazing one. There's going to be a lot of wonderful things happening. Hard work and major repayments. Now, let's see. This is for Sagittarius sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Sagittarius energy influences your natal chart. You can apply these energies for the next seven days. Remember, if it doesn't fit, don't squeeze it. This ain't Cinderella. You're not one of their ugly stepsisters. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to try to squeeze your foot where it don't belong. Energies may apply, may not apply. So Sagittarius, we got your crowning energy. And remember, there's always an extended reading, um, a full tarot card spread, and a romance reading. And that link is always in the description box below. Just press on that little arrow, um, right? I think it's to the left-hand side of the video and you'll find all that information. Sagittarius. I'm curious. Let's just jump in. This came out a little wonky. Watch and wait. I don't think you want to. I think that's the reason. I think there's this uh, energy this week of being stuck in limbo, of wondering, hey, weren't they supposed to call me back? Or, um, it's been a while, so why haven't I heard anything? Uh, there's that energy of you're waiting for something, you're watching, you know you almost almost like um vigilance there's a there's a there's a vigilance yes but there's almost like a forced vigilance that's what the energy is because it came out all wonky almost upside down which means you you don't want to be waiting anymore you almost feel like but the time is now it should be happening now like why isn't it happening to me right now that's the crowning energy so i would say in if i had to summarize it in one word there would be the sense of impatience that's happening and you know that may happen to you a little bit especially as we transfer into after we transferred into capricornian season it, things don't just happen spontaneously they happen in a practiced very scheduled way this is the way the cosmos is communicating now so it's it's a very different energy from your energy and you have you are coming out of i can give you a million different reasons why sagittarius this is this is your crowning energy impatience of, of wanting to get things going, waiting for something that hasn't come in yet. That doesn't mean it's not going to come in. This is also father energy. So this could be somebody feeling pressure from their father or feeling some sort of, well, hurry up, it should be done right now, or feeling some, in some way, feeling. Remember, I keep saying feeling because this is Piscean energy. Feeling some way, Sag, that, that you're, maybe your father or paternal figure in your life or even just a masculine energy is rushing you, hurrying you, wondering why things haven't been done yet, why things aren't finished yet. There's this, this energy of it. It could be somebody else that's rushing you, hurrying. Um, things aren't going fast enough for them or it could be happening to them. But it's a very, if it's happening to somebody else, this is a very important person in your life that you either live with or spend a lot of time with because it would have to be for for this energy to be affecting you if it's happening to somebody else. So so it, it could be, but it's just that they would have to be a normal, regular part of your life and have uh, mean, mean a lot to you. Because if they didn't mean a lot to you, you wouldn't give a damn. But there's this energy of hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Can we get things done? Or why hasn't this happened yet? Or you can feel it. So this is Piscean energy, this could be subverted. You could feel it happening beneath the surface that you, you almost feel like somebody's losing patience with you. That's the energy that you're up against this week. Surrender now, like a moth to a flame. So this is an energy that you're either, you're somebody's attention or affection, and it doesn't have to be romantic. It could just be somebody that you really, really, like I said, you really, really care about their opinion. Um, there is an energy of, um, maybe being pushed to be impetuous because you want to get things done and you're flying too close to the sun to be impetuous Sagittarius that's the energy it's like you, you haven't thought this through or enough of the pieces haven't come in for you to know exactly what you're dealing with so to take this jump or try to push this matter because of your impatience but this is just like a reiteration of this yeah something is making you want to jump before that before you know you're ready so somebody could be putting pressure on you of like hey i want more i want i want i want i want more you could be dealing with a pisces right 
um, I want more, I want more, I want more, I want this done, I want this done, I want this done. There's sort of some sort of pressure that seems to be that seems to be being applied to you over the next seven days, and it's making you think of or being tempted to be impetuous, uh, which is not good because this is the moth to a flame. Moths fly right into that light, and what do they do? You know, that's not what you want to happen to yourself. So understand that this comes with a little bit of a woo woo red flag warning. This is also Sagittarian energy, which can be very fly by night and spontaneous. So curb, in other words, curb your Sagittarius energy. The emotions that are running very, very high this week are going to play on your impulses to want something to happen or need something to happen. And maybe even you trying to push it to happen just so something will happen. And that's no bueno. No bueno. Uh, bring a gentle touch. This is Virgo energy. This could be an outside energy helping you or just a suggestion from spirit to say, shh, loving, unconditional love. There's, there, there is a sense of you do have time. This is grounding energy. This is Virgo energy. This is a very, very favorable energy for this time of the year. So this is a reminder that, whoa, slow down. You're moving too fast. What are you rushing for? This is an unconditional, a voice of unconditional love saying, you've got time, don't worry so much. And I know in all the history of worrying, nobody has ever stopped worrying because they've been told, don't worry. I understand that. But it is a reminder that it's not gonna get you anywhere, right? Worrying is like a rocking chair. It'll give you something to do, but you won't get anywhere. And what you want, do you see that? 18, one plus eight is nine. So you're getting to an end of a cycle. So this is a reminder of why you should have patience. And it's an encouraging factor of it is coming. It is happening. There's no need to rush things because you're guaranteed them. And I wouldn't want you to skip over them or to mess them up because you rushed them. This could also be, wait, hold on. This could be love, love, love that you've been waiting to happen, right? Or you've been waiting to take off something regarding love that you've been waiting for. And it's happening. It's here. And it may have been delayed. It may have been held back, but it's here now. It's, it's, it's real. So you don't have to worry about it. It's, it's really real. Take a leap of faith. This is very contrary to everything that I've just been saying. So let's keep reading the cards. This is an energy, but I don't know. You know what you're gonna be taking a leap of faith in? Patience. You're gonna take a leap of faith in, let it be. Be here right now, surrender to this moment. Don't rush things. That's what you're gonna take a leap of faith in because all of us express our Im impulsivity in different ways, you know? And I think that, especially with you guys, there could be that, but I need to act now. It's a fire sign thing. So what we're saying, what, what the message here is, be faithful in the slowness. Be faithful in the stillness. Continue to have faith in the patience. You're taking a leap of faith into that gentle, passive point of view. That's what you're taking a leap of faith in. This could also say, Sagittarius, take a leap of faith in a female. A female in your life, somebody that's very, very special to you, somebody that you care about a lot, you know, somebody that you could be having your eye on or be concerned with, have faith in them because they are going to pull through. They are. In fact, they're probably a lucky cat because grasshopper spirit, grasshopper is a sign of luck and good fortune. So it's almost like you, they may not see it coming yet. But the luck is going to happen to them. So be steadfast and hold on to that faith because if they leap, they may burn away their ch best chance. So the leap of faith really has to be taken in the patience and the calm, even if, even if you're getting really irritated. There is always enough. This is a central energy to your reading. There's a lot of Piscean energy here. So you could be dealing with a Pisces Sagittarius. This is the energy of you have enough. Don't worry. Slow down. You don't need anything right now. This is another three plus six, 36. This is equal to nine. This is another nine energy. There is a cycle that's about to come to an end. It's not there yet, 
but it's about to come to an end. So you're, you're at the next step. You just have to get to one more step and then it's going to be over. It's not going to be a long wait. You're not going to have to wait to the end of next year and end of this year. It's, it's not, it's happening. This is, this is true. Um, and you have everything that you need. So whatever you feel rushed for, it's just, it's just really this week, your impulsivity, know your worth. Don't jump into something that is not good enough for you. You know, and also don't try to wrap things up and pretend like they're good if they're not. You know, let, let it out. Let it out. Let the stink bomb out. Acknowledge the stink. Acknowledge the stink. Acknowledge the stink in this situation. It's part of the way that you can help the situation. Because no one ever helped anything by not accepting it first. You got to accept the reality of the situation that you're in. And maybe it stinks. Yes. But the bottom line is it is what it is. And now you can learn how to deal with it. Now we know how to get rid of it. If you kind of try to wrap up the stink in perfume, you're, A, you're wasting your energy. B, you're wasting your resources. And C, you're not dealing with the problem. Right? And I feel like this impulsivity, this want to leap into something suddenly or maybe even want to leap on to on someone like per, like per, not persecute but like accuse them or push them it could be you wanting to push somebody because you're tired of waiting and you're sick of waiting or somebody once again is is pushing you and it almost maybe because you're dealing with water energy it could be very passive aggressive ways that they're doing it you know like like saying like sweet things that aren't really sweet things you know yeah i know he's so great you know it'd be even better if I knew where things were going, but it's so good right now. Yeah. You know, like that kind of like underhanded, backhanded kind of compliment or those, those, those backhanded, comp yeah, backhanded compliments, like the, that, those subverted insults, you can feel them. You know that they're there, you know that they're happening, but they try to wrap it up in sugar. You know, they're trying to wrap the vinegar up in sugar. And don't they know that shit's nasty? That's the taste in your mouth this week. Um, that sensation of don't try to wrap this up in sugar. If it stinks and you're pissed, then say it out loud. But don't, but acknowledge it. Acknowledge it and then deal with it and then calm yourself down. Slow your roll because you're supposed to be waiting. This, this is another nine card. Oh, shoot. This is another nine card. Four plus five. How many different ways can we say nine? Nine. Nine, 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 nine. Tons of nines all over this reading. And three. And three plus nine. Three plus nine is 12, which is another three. We have threes and nines all over this reading. Listen, there is an energy here. I just read this in the Witch's Spell Book of when you start to see a three, a threes and nines in lots of places, there's this energy of Hecate, uh, Hecate who was a goddess. She's a goddess of the magic and the underworld and a three-faced goddess of earth, the other world, um, heaven, earth, what, what was it? The underworld, heaven, and earth. So three different worlds. She could pass in, through all three different worlds. Um, and I just read it and it's so cool because we got all threes and nines here. Nine is a completion, okay? It's a magical number. So there is something that you have been manifesting and working on, Sagittarius. And it's coming into fruition. It's just, it's happening as you speak. And if you rush it, you could only compromise it. And come on now, that's not worth it. It's not worth it. You know what's worth it? You are never alone. So you have the love and support. This is an energy of, come on. You know you love them. Don't rush them. They could be their energy too, cross watchers. You know you love them. So stop rushing them if they're not ready yet and just enjoy where you are. This is accepting the in-between. Embrace the in-between. Why? Because it's a way of respecting somebody. It's a way of respecting yourself. It's a way of honoring where you are right now at this moment without rushing things or trying to push things into, into a direction they are not yet ready to go. Or the word, I'm telling you right now, the worst thing in the world, Sagittarius, is that for you to push somebody in a direction they're already going. Because then it's like, why did you just push me? What's wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? That's the energy of like, what are you doing? I'm headed in that direction. Or if I'm not going fast enough, then go around me and go on without me. I'm going at the pace that I need to go. I'm going there. So it's about appreciate the pace and put the love first. Put the love first and don't rush them. Have faith in them. This is Libra energy. So this is really balanced 
and healthy, happy energy. This is re like res reserving your resources. That's what flamingo energy is. You just reserve those resources. Don't overspend. You know, be economic. This is that's a really good mentality to get in, especially during Capricorn season, uh, especially when Saturn and Jupiter are back in Capricorn. You know, be be very uh, economical. That's a very good mindset to be in. But you know, like love them, love them economically. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. But it's like have patience. Have patience. There is this. There, yeah, it's just this not wanting to, not wanting to wait. What's your grounding energy? We have your grounding energy. We have your crowning energy is in patience. But what's your grounding energy, Sagittarius? What's the grounding energy for Sagittarius for this week? What's the grounding energy for Sagittarius for this week? Time for a deep dive. That's a more Libra energy. Are you dealing with a Libra? In reverse. Ooh, there's a secret here. Maybe that's why somebody's rushing something. Because there's something that you don't want them to find out. But this is the moon. A dark moon. This is like a new moon. Could have started happening around Capricorn. But this is turn knowledge into wisdom. No, you're being impulsive. You're being unwise. And you're keeping secrets or you're hiding them. Or you're using secrets against somebody. See, this is, that's the energy of why you want to rush things because you could be stuck in a situation where you're uncomfortable because you're sitting on something that you don't want to tell somebody. Believe in yourself. So this is like subverted belief in yourself. You don't really believe in yourself. This is the problem. It's like you need the instantaneous gratification because you have a fear that what you've been working on and how hard you've been working is not going to be, it's not going to be appreciated. You honestly feel like your work is not going to be appreciated. Oh. Let it shine has popped out. This is scorpionic energy. So this is something definitely hidden in the underworld. Also kind of came out in a convoluted, funky way. But this is an end to a secret. Um, it says, let it shine. Feeling diminished, feeling repressed, suppressed. Just feeling like you're not important. Feeling like you're not important. Feeling like nobody sees how hard you work. And that's why you want this thing to come through because you want some sort of validation, but it's not going to come through or it's going to break and be ruined if you push it. So even though you may want the validation right now, shoot, you may, you may be waiting for approval on a credit card application, you know, and like you may be trying to rush things or applying for, you didn't hear from one card. So you keep applying for all these cards and that goes against your credit score and it only makes things worse and makes your chances get less. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you rush things and if you push things at this time over the next seven days, it's not going to be good. You're not going to hear what you want to hear. This is an energy of watch your words. Watch what you say. Watch how you speak. Watch even if you watch how you choose to communicate with people. Don't pop off at people. This agitation is going to run high this week. Um, also, um, don't speak or tell somebody that you're ready when you're not, when things aren't ready, because it will blow up in your face this week. That's an FYI. Hold on, Sagittarius. I'm going to turn the camera around real quick. We'll review our cards. Hold on. So here we go. Impatience, crowning your energy, and basically insecurity, grounding your energy. So this is shaky ground. This is Virgo energy. Virgo is, for me, the sand of the earth signs. So it's not a really solid foundation that you have here because you're insecure. You're hidden. You're, you feel like your hard work is not going to be acknowledged. You're afraid. This is fear really playing on you. And it could, it could have something to do with, you know, people shit talking. And this is another nine. Another nine, it's going to end soon. They're going to be proved wrong soon. The end is coming. Somebody could be very, be, be very critical to you this week. Very critical. And that's why you want some results and you may be tempted to push some results. But let's see what's going to happen. Listen, you don't have to believe me. You can believe tarot. See what's going to happen if you push those results, okay? Because I'm telling you right now, it's not a good time to push those results. I'm going to extend this reading. That link is below, and then we'll also do your romance reading. Okay, Sagittarius, I will see you over there.